Hi guys, this is my uh, first video of 2020. Uh, I would have loved to do one a bit sooner, which has been hectic the last couple of weeks. Uh, this is a coin swap uh, I've been doing with uh, Coins Recovery 2019, and uh, this is the uh, last one he's sent me for Christmas. Uh, I have cheated a bit, I did have a quick look, I couldn't resist. Uh, but we're now in January, um, and this, this is the quickest I could film it and get it all uploaded. So uh, have a look, see what you think. Sent me a nice letter saying it's a, a, a mystery coin swap, and it's a proof examples of Australian circulating coins. Stuart Devlin was the designer of the verse of all the coins. Hope you like them, coin struck. No doubt I will, mate. You know what I like. So this is a 2017 fine silver. Year set, well chuffed with that mate, it's super nice. And actually before, before I open this, it's, check the words fine silver. Uh, fine silver means it's 999. Uh, to my knowledge, nearly all of UK silver proof sets are 925, the sterling silver, not fine silver. So these are extra special silver coins, these. In a box, we've got the Australian uh, government Australian mint. Look at that, that is nice. Just have a look at them, folks. These are really nice. I'll get them out, you can see them one by one in a sec. Can't be a lovely COA, can you? They are only a thousand of these, and this is uh, 283. Just pause if you want and look at them. These are all the specs of the coins here, and as you see there, they're all 999, so they are fine, not sterling silver, which is not seen many uh, pre-circulating coins uh, made with fine silver. So let's look, let's have a close look at these. Let's move that out of the way. There we are. So we've got the uh, the twenty cents there. And if you look at the design, that, that could that could almost be uh, a brand new design for 2020, and it's not. It's been around since, what, the 1960s, I believe? Or 1969, around that sort of era. That's a lovely coin, that. I, Kev has sent me uh, one of these before, and I've actually found one of them in a charity shop last year. I'm not a fine silver one, but I came across one of them last year. We've got a one dollar, the two dollar, the five cent, and the ten cents. This this one I, I did find in a ten p run uh, last year. Uh, when I f at first glance I thought this was the Loch Ness, but it wasn't. Even though it was an Australian ten cents. And at the time, I thought it was some kind of flower or bush sort of thing. And at first glance, it's one of these coins that you can't really see what it is until you know. And it's actually uh, a lyre bird. You can see the bird just there. And it's got a quite a, like almost like a peacock um, sort of um, plumage there. Uh, and I've, I've actually seen one of these on a, a, a nature program. I'll stick it in. I'm sure they won't mind. 20 different species. He also, in his attempt to outsing his rivals, incorporates other sounds that he hears in the forest. That was a camera shutter. And again. And now a camera with a motor drive. And that's a car alarm. So you can actually see what it is. You 
Yeah, and all the portraits on these are in rank Broadleys. And the finish of these are just spectacular. Here's a 20 cents. And like I say, that just looks like a brand new design coin. Uh, and credit to uh, Stuart Devlin, the designer there. I think he was uh, one in a million in terms of a designer. Uh, that one there's got uh, a platypus. I'm sort of dive into the water, but it's a gorgeous coin, that. Next we have... The five cents. At first, I thought this was a hedgehog, uh, but it's not. I believe it's uh, an anteater. Well, these coins are sharp as a pin. These, in terms of the striking, beautiful coins. Here we have the 50 cents. This is a huge coin. And a fantastic design coin. I love that. Next we've got the uh, $1, typically Australian, isn't it, with the kangaroos on that? And it's uh, sort of semi-milled, like our sort of one pound coins. Beautiful. And the last one is a two dollar with a Aborigine on there. Quite unique milling in edge detail on that one. What is well, one thing I've noticed is that the two dollars is smaller than the one. Uh, tell you what, if anybody knows the reason behind that, let us know. You don't, you'd always expect this sort of like, like, like our, our two pound coins bigger than a one pound coin, but it's actually a smaller coin. I find that quite unusual, but what a beautiful set this! I'm absolutely honored to receive it. it this is going to go in my uh, prized possessions. I think out of all of them, I do like that coin. I think in terms of design, I love that one. So I just want to thank, thank Coinstruck for that. Uh, sorry for the delay getting up there, mate. Like I said, I've just been absolutely mad busy. Uh, at this minute in time, uh, I've been buying more coins than I can actually film, which is it's not a bad place to be. Uh, I've got loads of sovereigns to go on i've uh, i've been sovereign mad over these last couple of weeks and months uh picked up some cracking ones also um uh, last week i was on the royal mint tour uh the first vip one for the year where you can strike your own coins i've got some stunners there uh, i'll put that in another video uh got quite a nice sovereign from them that should be up shortly but i just want to thank kevin again for that you're an absolute top bloke for those love that coin so thanks very much thanks for watching there's going to be loads coming in 2020 from me yeah uh, it's just a case of sitting down now and banging up the videos so keep watching keep subscribing keep commenting and hopefully i might see one of you two guys this year who knows at coin fairs and some other events so see you soon guys thanks very much Ta -da.